Hey, what's up guys? In this video we're going to be going over the advanced controls, namely the limiting styles of Vepilter Pro L. This is an exceptionally important topic, and it really dictates the, the ballistics of your limiting. Uh, there's four flavors, and each one you need to select wisely. So I'm going to open up the advanced slider here, and uh, we have our four styles here. Uh, generally, all round is good. So kind of leave it at that if you're not sure. Um, it's relatively the most safe, but we're going to get into that. So first off, we have transparent. Transparent, it's all of these are highly program dependent. It depends on what you feed into it. Uh, there's some interesting things going on under the hood. It's all complex math, I assume. But uh, yeah, transparent. It is designed to be transparent. It's designed to be as true to the original as possible. Uh, so there's no pumping, there's no coloring. It's uh, very minimal distortion. And uh, yeah, if you want a limiter without it being a limiter, uh, this is uh, what you want. Punchy. Punchy is it's one of the most... You can really hear punchy when you enable this. Uh, it introduces punch and also adds a bit of pumping. So it's really good for, say, like electronic music, techno. It really kind of adds to the pumpiness of the sound. And it's, you know, punchy. People say punchy is good. I think punchy is pretty good um, in some cases. Dynamic. Dynamic is really good because it's it's a different kind of... It adds something to it, and what it does is it, add, it it enhances the transient before it goes in the limiter, so it creates more of a dynamic feel. Um, and it's the most CPU intensive, so I'd be careful about that, but dynamic is also pretty good. And all round is considered very safe. Um, it's less likely to distort and it'll work well on almost anything. And those are your four kind of styles. I would stick to all round, just because that's the default and it works well. Uh, dynamic, if you want to get a little bit creative, um, and it can also work well on single tracks, punchy on maybe drums or the whole track, if you're making like techno or something, and you want just that extra bit of kind of flavor to it, don't mind having a bit of distortion, adding attitude and stuff like that. And uh, transparent if you just want to boost the overall uh, loudness or volume perceived loudness of the track. Yeah, and those are the styles. Hope you learned stuff. Take care and have a good one.